Hello there, hello there. Welcome back to more Ark Survival Ascended. Today, we're doing some more surviving. But, you know, we gotta, we're gonna progress a little bit on the map. Um, last time, of course, we got the, the horse and uh, we made a little cart, which is very fun. And then yesterday, we did a little build stream again and we built the train station over here. Which I'm very happy with, and I can't wait to actually get started uh, with, you know, building the train road. Uh, railroad everywhere, connect bases, connect places to go. Because right now, yeah, we do not really have anywhere to go. It's, it's just a track and it's just a station to the green orb, easy way home to the island if we want to. And our little starter base. As you can see, I've also decided to bring over some species X seeds from uh, the island because I was getting tired of our base being overrun because we had spikes to protect ourselves and that wasn't really working in our favor. It was just one big chaotic mess. So instead, we now have speci species X, which uh, do a very good job at protecting, maybe a little bit too good, but um, you yeah, know, at least it's working. Um, yeah, fun stuff, I think. But this is just the starter base, and I feel like we're slowly but surely getting past the starter phase for sure. We need a lot more space, and this isn't the best location to do that. So, my tribe mate, she actually came with the suggestion to go and live in some ruins, and she even found a location that she really liked. So, to start off today's stream, I think we'll just go there, because I already did a little bit of building there to get it started. Ooh, hello there, hello there. So yeah, let's fly over there. Let's, uh, well, it's not going to be goodbye. We're going to still visit this, this starter base. We still have this train station. We're going to connect it because it's still very convenient to be able to access the green up this easily. Uh, but now we're moving on to one of the next bases. Of course, we also have the western town that I'm building, but that might be a while because we still need to do a lot of progress there. We, we just made the saloon and honestly, I need to continue. But there's so many cool things to do, so many builds to make that it's sometimes difficult to choose what to do first. Um, but yeah, this is, um, this is definitely a convenient place. It's also, again, on the edge of where the dunes are and where the normal rest of the map is, so. Yeah, I think I'll be doing a, a base build location video pretty soon. Um, I'm just trying to get my head around the whole Scorched Earth map seeing what the locations are good if there are like any decent ruins because there's a lot of like smaller ruins on the map definitely a lot of like small ruins so just for like a house it's fine but um there is also uh a few of them a little bit bigger this one right now is very big it's also one of the cave entrances but since this is our private server so just me and a friend it doesn't really matter uh if we build there because we'll be the only ones actually going there hello hello thank you thank you glad you like them i try my best i try my best and uh yeah it's fun to find out new tricks new ways to build especially now with all the new uh, materials and and all the new things that have been added of course a lot of new options available well, you can see it already right over there this is the base location i was talking about let's get a little bit closer and let's take a little look at what or one of our bases is going to be like right here on the edge of the desert the start of the desert got some big dunes right next to us and there is a lot of ruins here this is a very big ruin yeah you could you could try and build uh, here, uh, Grape, but you would have to keep the cave entrance clear. All right, so yeah, here we go. There's a pretty big ruin, as you can see. It's basically a big town. We have some ruins over here, all sorts of buildings that could be rebuilt into new structures. I actually also like that they have like a some kind of road structure in place, 
which makes for a very cool place. There's also a bunch of uh, explorer notes here. You have a note over here. There's a note on top of this one. There's also a note in here, but that's one of the new Bob ones, I think. So maybe not everyone um, uh, can use those. I don't know. I don't know how that works. And then we have more ruins right over here. And as you can see, there it is. The first ruin has been rebuilt in Ark Survival Ascended. And, uh, well, on the Oscorch Earth, as you say, I've done many on Sc uh, Ark Survival Ascended, but not so many on Scorched Earth. So, yeah, there we go. We have the first ruin rebuild, which is basically uh, a new place to call home. A little bit of a bigger base, some more room for us. And what I did is, you have a little ruin here. There's a second ruin on top of here. I've tried to combine those. I've made a little place for dinos to be safe. And I've also integrated, like, this structure over here. Um, I've placed the windmill over here to keep us safe as well. So, I've done a lot of things trying to make this all work as one. So, let's park or little moth down here let's get out of <laughs> the little parking area and let's get up to the base is there a way where i can actually easily go up here maybe there is not maybe through here uh i guess not really can i jump this nope maybe parking behind there wasn't the best idea we'll go around it's very it's uh, basically a town what what you can build here because there's so many ruins that there's a lot to to rebuild if you want to and i want to of course uh we're gonna do a lot of rebuilding i'm actually very excited to do a little bit of building with the adobe structures oh this place is a maze there we go i would uh, should have gone the other way around yeah but there we go. This is the first ruin rebuild. So it's got a lot of different parts to it. A lot of different uh, uh, structures combined into one. First of all, we have a little windmill here. Central uh, to the town. Which will help protect uh, the generator. And I uh, also rebuild this little structure under here. But yeah, it's not really being used yet, of course. Don't know if it will. But I just figured it would be fun to integrate the things that we need to have. Because these protect the generators, of course into what i'm rebuilding for like uh the other structures so yeah that looks really nice already i think and then we have another re rebuilt project here this is all foundations that i've placed in this core chart so you can actually use this entire core chart to put down crafting stations storage whatever you want you can just build in here like it is a room but you're still out and about so i thought that was was very nice and i managed to line it up pretty nicely with the existing ruin and yeah the adobe just blends in so well with the main structures it's really nice because before of course i used to do a lot of painting on the island or at least in the second rune base to try and match it but this saves so much time just being able to do this and it's also fun trying to do a little bit of a different style rune rebuild you can see this window Kind of very nice as well so yeah this is one of the little buildings that we have this again is all foundation so we can build in there now um then we actually have a little hidden passageway down here so yeah you have this hallway and as you can see on the sign this is towards our storage area um is that actually on oh, i think it is yeah it's hard to see during the day but yeah we got some storage right here when you come in and some more storage right in here hidden underneath i found this after building and i saw all my foundations clipping through the ceiling because above this is another layer so i placed some ceilings down to hide all that and now we have this lovely little um yeah lovely little storage area that is hidden away and since we have the pullet mod on our private server it's really easy to just get the resources resources into the crafting stations around even if they're down in the basement. Oh, we have a storm coming in. Uh, I've I've not used any textures from the uh, from the Frontier pack. Only this thing is from the Frontier pack, and some of the decoration, of course, like the lamps and the hanging signs. But the textures and the roof and everything—that's all part of uh, all part of the normal Adobe structures. Let's go inside because. There's a storm brewing. Okay, so in here we don't have a lot of interior yet. 
lamp broke because of mosquito uh, that's fine that's fine i can always replace it um so yeah we have a little uh, crafting table here the smithy and then we have the first room so these two layouts didn't actually line up so they are kind of separated and kind of connected to each other i had to place separate foundations in here to make it work and then get the stairs down but somehow it all lined up we do have some interesting corners because of this and uh, you know oh my god <laughs> the thing is uh it's not great this storm um but yeah we have some space so it's not the biggest room because of the weird structure of the ruins but we managed to combine it and then i added another floor to it where we can you know hang out on the couch we have some uh <laughs> some a nice living room a little balcony as well to enjoy or soon to be completely rebuilt town of course which uh, is gonna be really fun eventually very very cozy especially during this storm super super cozy you can just sit on the couch and, and watch the balcony um i did these uh windows here which uh, i think we did those first at the train station yesterday but i kind of like them um it's just the thin pillars and and some trickery with a door and and quarter uh walls but they look very nice we also have this funky structure going on because these roofs don't line up with each other so we have one roof here and then the second roof slightly to the side but it makes for a cool interior and then i did this wall design to make it a little bit more interesting and then we got a little bedroom over here where you can i guess you can sit and <laughs> and and also just not really do anything uh yeah we do not have a lot of stuff here yet but it's fine it's fine uh yeah so that is the little house uh no we need to go one down um and then i have a little overhang here it's 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 not ideal to do this during the storm it's it's kind of difficult to show you around but we got another little side bit here where you can I guess just enjoy the view again there could be some crafting or forges here i don't know we'll see what we'll do and then we have a generator room a gen <laughs> dedicated generator room right here uh, where the generator can chill out i just needed to rebuild this ah finally the storm's over um and yeah i thought these beams sticking out fit the style i'm trying to do a little bit of a different style to what i normally do for the ruins trying to fit the vibe and fitting everything in but yeah i think so far i'm quite happy with the result let's quickly grab our moth so we um can fly around yeah i really love the signs from the from the uh frontier pack they are really nice so you can see the roof isn't uh, <laughs> isn't lined up everywhere but it kind of makes for a very interesting roof to be honest so yeah a bit of a messy build but i really love it i like the texture of the new adobe i love this roof texture it's really useful also for non adobe houses just having these tiles will be really good as a roof option um i might still do some painting like i might paint the roofs i don't know yet this was just like the first little thing thrown things together so that we have a little outpost here as you can see there's like so many little ruins everywhere so i think we're gonna rebuild this as like a town so i'm probably gonna make like i don't know uh, this building is gonna be the blacksmith and we're gonna have the forge in there and you know stuff like that i think that's how we're gonna do it and then probably here at the end i'm gonna build the train station so that we can connect it up with the railroad network and connect the bases because that's really something that i want to start doing as soon as possible but yeah this is really fun and then of course we have the cave entrance right here in the i think this is the church building or something i don't know what it is in the lore but yeah you have the cave right here where you can just fly in so probably i'll also make one last room right here which will have some beds so that if we do the cave we can very easily just spawn back at the entrance yeah i think that's what going to be one of the next things so that as soon as we're ready to do the cave we have that all set up it's probably going to be a little bit easier because it's mostly just going to be a box, I think. Maybe some nice de details to decorate it. But yeah, so far, uh, a good start, I would say. But this is quite a big run, quite a big place. Exciting to be on the edge of the desert. 
Every time I visit here, I see the new dino, the what is it called? Fossilosuchus or something. And I really want to try and tame one soon, I think. But um, we might we might give it a go today. I don't know. Can you see the level when it's buried? I don't think you can. So that's a shame. So we need to figure out what level they are and then blow them up. I guess. But that's not the first thing that I want to try today. Because, um... Yeah, there's something that we uh, we kind of uh, tried a little bit last stream, or we took a little little peek, but we didn't we didn't actually try it. So last stream, of course, we got the horse, and then we made the little cart, and afterwards we paid a little visit to the Wyvern Trench to see how many there were, and uh, it wasn't that busy. So I think. <laughs> I think I'm going to be actually stupid enough. Well, first off, I'm going to check if I have stuff with me that I don't want to take with me. Did I hear something break? I don't know. Um, I definitely do not want to... Oh. Don't give it to you. I need to put it in the storage. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. So my explosions I want to keep. Um... I guess I'll put my cryos in here. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, I'm not going to need a sleeping bag because if I'm dead, I'm dead. We'll take the tent. Eh, just in case on the road, you know, something happens. Uh, okay. I think now we can... Jeez. It's going to be hot as hell now. Yeah, I feel like the frequency of the weather events is uh, is, is quite high on the uh, on scorch right now. I don't know if that was always the case, but it feels quite frequent. So we're gonna hop over to the wyvern trench. We're gonna take a little look, see if there's still not that many wyverns around, and then we're gonna try if Butterfree is up to the task. And also my nerves are up to the task because it is quite a stressful thing to do but i think i figured out a way to do it which is relatively safe um it's uh, it's tried and tested on our community server um but i was quite lucky that time because there were no wyverns close to me at all so that might change oh there's another little rune here yeah, see, there's a lot of these, like, small buildings all over the map. But, um... If I'd ended up in this not place, all of them you can rebuild. I'd have never imagined the ecosystem was natural. Not for two seconds. Take these Morellatops. They're a cross between a Ceratops, a Morellodon, and a Camel. And the strangest part? There are places in its humps where you can stick a spigot and get clean drinking water tastes like piss but not only is it safe it doesn't even harm the morellatops definitely the result of genetic engineering but i knew that didn't i it's time to get to the why maybe studying the creatures here with my new perspective will yield some insight okay well another note found we're gonna have to get them all again i guess just like the island so a whole new challenge to do. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and do hopefully something that isn't too stupid. Uh, but getting a wyvern would actually be really exciting. I think we should be able to hatch it and 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 get it grown up. The only thing we can't do yet, unless we start building like a trap and actually actually uh, prepare a little bit more, get some better stuff. Is getting the wyvern milk for an imprint because i think they ask for it now but um i mean just having a wyvern would be good for protection so this is another ruin right here on the mountainside oh there's actually a few buildings here a little bit more broken down but that means you can a lot uh, it's a little more easy to rebuild this into your own thing i guess okay so that was some more speed let's see 
don't think there's another explorer sometimes there's multiple nodes in one location which is quite interesting oh i have no stamina that's fine i wanted to land here anyway what the heck These guys, why are you after me? Why are you so high level as well? Let me please get out. Jeez. We're going to try and get a, wi a wyvern, but we can't even face uh, a vulture. Why was it after me? Do I have like rotten meat or whatever? No, I don't have anything. Right? No, I don't have anything. Why? Why are you following me? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, well. Ooh, there's another rune right over here. Sometimes they're so hard to spot because they blend in so well. This could be a cool spot here on the edge of the uh, mountain. A little bit dangerous. But it looks cool. We're also quite hot, so we might need shelter for a little bit. Oof. I didn't take any food with me. God damn it. I'm so stupid. Setting up. Abandoned ruins near Red Orb. Oh. Okay. Well, we might have a tiny problem here. First of all, it's quite hot. Second of all, I don't have my food with me for some reason. I think I might have left it in my base. So maybe I quickly grab some berries here. So I can enjoy a little bit of food in my tent. Nope. Let me in, please. There we go. Okay. Well, let's eat. Let's eat some berries. Let's make sure we don't eat narco berries. <laughs> and hope that this storm will pass because yeah it's not a good start to our little mission if we're going in there almost dead at least we're healing up a little bit we're not dying anymore okay well the berries really saved me. That was quite lucky that we did find those. Now we just need uh, heat to go away. And my gear is still alive. Barely, but still alive. Guess maybe we should uh, use the, the whip to get some eggs. Okay, well, yeah, we, we, we kind of can't move until the heat goes away, I think. Especially not if we're going into the Wyvern Trench, because that's not going to go well otherwise. We're pretty close already. Jeez, how long is this storm going to last? At least we found a pretty cool, nice spot to, to be safe at whilst we... Wait out the storm and heal up. I think it was like a 130 vulture, by the way. It was like an insanely high level. Hello there. Hello there. Thanks for subscribing. Um, 
Yeah, this is still. Yeah, no, it's still super hard. Still super, super hard. Is my health slowly going up? Yeah. Food is going down. So we'll have to do another little berry hunt. Wait, maybe. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's not actually doing anything. I keep forgetting that I have the whip with me. Yeah, still quite hot, but this is actually a pretty decently sized room, especially the inside is pretty big. Um, so quite nice if you want to live inside it, I guess. Okay, we'll eat another bunch of berries to hopefully help keep us alive. Um, oh, did the heat go away? Nope. Still overheating, but maybe the heat storm is going away. Hmm. Not sure why I'm having such trouble all of a sudden. Maybe it's because I'm high up in the mountain. Is that hotter there? I think it is, right? Okay. Let's see if we can at least get out of here a little bit. Ooh, there's another room here. Quite a cool place then. No, nope, it's still just very hot. I don't know why. I don't think I've ever had this heat problem before. Not to this extent. Usually I'm fine, maybe. Maybe I've just not been out in the whole areas. Or I've just not noticed it before and... I've never died to the heat, I think. Okay, there we go. We're not hot anymore. Um... I think getting... A little bit of water or stuff would be nice. But where is the question? Basically, healing up would be really nice right now. But it's difficult. Because <laughs> we're not in a very friendly area. And all I have is a little moth friend. Yeah, I think some areas might just be holster or something. I don't know. I've mostly been fine. I think I've got pretty high fortitude. Yeah, 80, so it's pretty decent. Um, let's get a little bit of health. You might, you might need it. You might need it. But we're slowly healing up now, so we should be fine. Maybe. It's quite risky going in here already down on health, I think. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's uh, do uh, one more little pit stop over here before we check out how busy it is today. And then see if it's worth trying to grab an egg. Yeah, there's another big ruined uh, city down there with the Colosseum. Could be a cool place to build, I don't know. My favorite place, yeah. Alright. Health wise, we're doing pretty well. Okay. Let's let's scout out the area a little bit. See what we see.
Yeah, with the Wyvern, it's easier. You already are quite fast. Okay, there's one Wyvern there. Wyvern nest as well. That's not the spot I want to be at. Doesn't seem to be too busy again. Like... Seems to be relatively... Oh, spoke too soon. There's a woman there. There's also a nest down there. Okay, so overall, it doesn't seem to be too crazy. Holy damn, look at the horse! Damn, you look cool, though. Not gonna try and get you right here, but... Um, you do look very cool. Okay, I think my target is right about down there. It's probably wise to find the spot I'm looking for first, and then... Oh, there is a woven nest right there. Okay, let's see. So the woven nest is right behind us, but I think right here is the actual spot I'm looking for because yeah right here is where you have this little cave and the wyverns they can't come in here also I've never actually explored the rest of this cave to see what it is damn it's a lot bigger than I thought Oh, there's an explorer note. Oh, we got the oasis saw. There we go. That's quite nice. There's water in here as well, but I'm afraid that if I get off, I won't be able to get on. I don't know. I should be able to, but. Okay. We'll, um, we'll have to give it a go, I guess. So the plan is we, we grab an egg and we come in here and we just wait until they go away again. It's a little bit cheesy, but if I get a wyvern out of it, who cares? Okay, that's a green egg. I would prefer a fire wyvern. Hmm. Where did we see the other nest? Because this one doesn't even have a nest. There is one a little bit further away. Then we do have quite a distance to fly. Currently, I do not see any wyverns. Hmm. Also, a green egg. A 
level 55. Well, I guess if, if we can only see some green eggs here, we'll just take one of them. I mean, a wyvern is still a wyvern. Okay, let's see. Level 20. Uh, not having the best of luck here. Besides there being no wyverns, of course. Okay. Well, there was a wyvern over there. Jeez, only... Only poison ones. Okay. Currently, I do not see any weapons yet. That's, um, good, I guess. Okay, we got an egg, it's not the best level, but it is an egg. We kind of need to throw away some stuff as well, because we're quite heavy. Yeah, I definitely don't think I can carry another... Uh, maybe if we throw some stuff into the Jaboa. That does really help with weight. Okay. Um, realistically, I think if I grab another egg, I'm going to be very, very slow. And that might make this very, very dangerous. Okay. There really is no wyverns at all. Shame we didn't see more eggs. Is the green egg that we saw before? I think it is, yeah. So that's going to be a really low level. Well, I think I think we'll take this as a win. It might not be the highest level, but it's still a wyvern. And uh We'll come back another time to, to get some other ones, I guess. Now we have to, to get it to grow up, of course. That's the, the next challenge. Yeah, that's kind of crazy that there's no... Um, no other eggs, no, uh, no wavens close to where I was grabbing them. This is uh, really, really quiet. I mean, I'm not complaining. I might be having a, 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 a wyvern at the end of this, so that's good. That's exciting. I don't think I've ever really um, used the poison wyvern much. I usually go for the fire. Um, also, I have never really played Scorch, so you don't really always get the choice of all of them. Okay, let's... Um I think we'll just go back to the ruins and we'll see if we can hatch it. 
probably is gonna take a while to hatch, but... Or at least to grow up. You're doing this? You mean... You did this? Uh, wait, where is it? I've got the egg already. I'm a master. I'm a master of the moth. There's a there's a little little the little cave you can hide in. I can show you sometime. It's quite if you know where the cave is, it's a level 90 95, I think. So it's not the highest level, but it's still pretty decent. Like it will definitely be a strong addition to the team. Like I found a level 20, level 55, and then this one, so I picked this one, of course. So Hello there, Julian. I mean, I think the moth is probably one of the better options because there's not much faster flyers. Maybe the tapiaras are a little bit faster, but an RG is probably not that much faster, if it is at all. Well, welcome in. Welcome in. Okay. Now the next challenge, of course, is see if we can actually get it to grow up. On the community server I have, we've been able to raise them without the wither milk. I think I've got the same breeding settings here and the, and the maturing settings, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll see. Damn, that's a blue UT over there. I need to land. Okay, there we go. Get some stem back. Mothman, yeah. The moth is, is really good. Don't think I've ever really used it, but um, yeah, it's actually surprisingly a good uh, good flyer. Yeah, this was a this was a very good ruin. This is a fun fun place. Glad we were able to hide from the heat over there. It's quite big because you could even build something on top of the existing structure there. But when we finally do manage to get a grown-up wyvern, we can really explore this place with a little bit more speed, which will be great. Okay, we should be getting close to the base. Somewhat close. So maybe what we do is we set the... Um, we hatch the egg and, and we start letting it grow up and maybe in the meantime we start looking for uh the the new dino the fossil sutures and see if we can uh maybe tame one of those because i found some c4 in a drop i only have two but i think you only need like one to get it to start the whole thing so if we play our cards right we should be able to maybe get one of those because uh, uh, yeah, I would really love to play around with that guy. That guy looks really cool. And especially if we're going to live on the edge of the desert. Um, feels like he fits right in. It's quite cool that you can see the ruins from so far. That's really different than to... Uh, the island where you sometimes couldn't see them even if you were right on them because they were so hidden in all the the trees but yeah now we can easily spot our home some of these RGs have really cool colors okay well we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot I think I want to want to give it a shot because it looks really cool and obviously I'm not ready to tame the uh, Oasis Saw just yet because I need some strong weapons to defend it when I start doing the taming. Um, oh god, I, I keep forgetting to check my stamina. 
Oh, this might be a bad spot to go down. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move this to my inventory so I can find it back. Yeah, this is this is not a great spot. Ugh. Yeah, the base location is right over there. <laughs> Right over there at those ruins. Okay. Nothing has seen me yet, so I'm just gonna hop off. Oh god, I'm stuck. And all my clothes are gone. And hopefully you got some stamina back. You did! See? Professional gamer. Professional gamer. Whew. Except that I forget checking the stamina, but that's fine. It's because I'm looking at uh, a chat once when I'm just doing a long flight, you know. You probably need to start breeding some uh, some moths for the for love stamina. Or maybe just, just get an RG. Okay, well. Yeah, 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 it can revive Thames. I'm more excited to build on it, to be honest, but... Both are fine. Alright, we'll park the moth here for now. Thank you, you did great. You you gave me... Um, a woven egg. That's quite cool. Let's grab my stuff. I don't think I'm going to have enough stuff here to repair my gear. Because I don't think... Unless we move the stuff here already, but I don't think so. Yeah, so I might, might need to go to the other base to repair it. Um, and we need to make a bunch of campfires because, believe it or not, it's not going to be hot enough, is it? So, we need to do a little bit of collecting. Actually, probably should leave the egg here so that I don't carry extra weight. Um, yeah, let's give everything that has weight to this thing. Because I don't need to carry that. There we go. You did great, Momo. You went to the Wyvern uh, Trench and you survived. I definitely need some food. Need to kill something. I start cooking. You know, it's because I've got the moth and I don't really kill stuff that often with it because, of course, you can't attack. So I never have meat to cook. Okay, well, that should be enough. We can drink some cactus juice as well. <laughs> nope. Uh, yeah, being out in the dunes is not going to really help me gather much stuff. Yeah, this is a really cool spot, the ruins. It's also an entrance to a cave, but you know, uh, well, it shouldn't let us stop just because it's a cave entrance. Um. Uh, is there any rocks? I don't think there is. Maybe inside of the cave? Uh, now I need water again. Uh, 
I don't know if there is anything here. Okay, let's uh, grab some more cactus because we are thirsty. Maybe I should just go back to the other base for a bit because we have a little bit more options there. Okay. Let's drink a bunch of this. That should help a little bit. Okay, so the closest rocks would be running to the edge of the central map so out of the dunes so i think that's the only choice we have right now if we realistically want to get some rocks we need those i think we should be fine can't really take the moth because there's no way he can carry this all Oh. Wait. That was weird. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna question it. Uh, what can I say? I'm the Scorpion King. Uh, I guess. Well, that was so weird. Uh... I thought he was going to come and kill me. Because I couldn't run from him. Oh, God. That was weird. He's like, I'm coming to get you. No, 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 no. Don't mind me. I, I, I have better things to do, I guess. Okay, let's get a bunch of cactus. Because I really... Why am I so thirsty? Does cactus juice not last for a long time? Okay, slow walk back, but we do have all the stuff now, I think, to craft a bunch of campfire. So we can start our Wyvern journey, which is always exciting. How many can we craft? Two? Oh geez, yeah, we need a bunch more stone. Okay, you know what? Let's drop off all the stuff that we have right now at the moth. And then we'll go grab a bunch of stone. Jeez, I am never taking the fastest route there, am I? No, I don't need you. Yeah. You know... He saw me and he was like, no, he's already struggling enough without me. Okay. So we'll start our ceremonial pit of fire. Uh, then we'll just transfer everything except the cactus, I guess. Keep the cactus. Keep the cactus. Look at me, I'm so speedy now. Oh no. Well, Momo was warning me that the storm was coming. And now I do need to go back to where the scorpion was, actually. Uh, there's so many things here. Level 100 as well. Jeez. Whose idea was it to live in the desert? <laughs> See, this is why I need a wyvern. wyvern. I need to protect myself out here.
Okay, I'm gonna drop the sand. Usually you wanna have the sand, but... And now I just need a bunch of stone so I can have all the campfires in the world. It actually wasn't my idea to live here. But when I saw it, I kind of agreed that we should build a base here, but my friend picked this location. And you know me, when I see a ruin that needs rebuilding, I, who am I to say no? Dehydrated again, jeez. I'm gonna eat all the cacti in the world. Do I get more cacti with this or that? Doesn't really seem to change. <laughs> no. She just needed, said we need a bigger, uh, bigger base, which is, is true. We definitely needed the upgrade already. Um, so this is a nice spot. And it's also a cave entrance, so that means it's very useful as well to have a base on top of the cave. Okay, well, I am too heavy. I don't think I need the flint. I can't carry this all. I guess I'll have to drink it all. It's not really doing enough. I need to drop this, maybe even this, maybe even that. Oof. The only thing is that, you know, maybe we should have gotten a few good good tames or whatever. An RG would probably have been wise, so I could just do this on a bird. I think that is probably the main issue that I have to do it on a moth, which can't carry a lot, or by foot. I am surprised how well my character is doing without my armor in the desert. As long as we don't get the heat wave, I guess. Boy, oh boy. Gotta go fast. Um, well, obviously I don't have the stuff now because that's all in here. So you give me some of this, and you give me some of the rest. Okay, let's craft about 10. Ten should be about right. Slowly but surely, we'll craft them up. We'll hatch our egg, maybe. Hopefully, would be cool. Maybe go after the fossil shukus. I don't know how to pronounce it. The faso. Swimming in the dunes. Okay, we got them. Um, I guess we need the wood in a little bit. Because we need the fire. Um, can I also carry the egg? Nope. So we'll leave the egg for now. Okay, let's start placing down some campfire. Please let me do whatever I want. Thank you. So we'll have the egg in the middle. Let's give it a go. There's only one way to find out if it all works.
Don't consume it, because that would be stupid. I don't know, it always looks like it's going to be burning itself. Too cold. I'm definitely not too cold. Uh, nope, don't do all of that. Still too cold. Come on. Five, please. There we go. We got it. It's doing it. Let's get rid of this bush so we can see we're doing look at it so three minutes that's a little bit too short to go out and about and actually go get a uh, fast of the sutures so what we'll do is we'll put a bunch of this stuff in storage basically so that my moth doesn't have to carry all the weight gonna sort oh god this is already in use it's already used what? what oh it's already sorted no i'm too late now i'm now i have to sort it as well i mean of course i was always gonna sort it i i wouldn't be the one not to sort things you know i i wouldn't do that um well we're gonna pray and hope that we don't need it with the settings that we have it works on our on our community server just about but you can't imprint they ask you uh, the, at least the the one that i tried to or hatched in uh, on my community server he asked for milk for the imprint so i couldn't get him fully imprinted which isn't ideal, but just to get started, you know, with the first wyvern, it's... I'll take anything that, that man, I, would, I just want... I just so badly want one. I am... I'm so obsessed with the wyverns. I love them. If anyone's ever watched any Neeb games, uh, Neeb's gaming, and uh, knows about Thick the Wyvern King, yeah, that's an inspiration. I just want the wyvern. I just want to fly. I want to be fast. We're going to be so fast in the skies. And then probably because it's not a high level, we also need to be careful with fighting. And it's poison. I don't think I've used poison before. So I'm quite curious to see how well it does in like fights and stuff. Um, but we'll be careful since it's not a very, very high level. We'll be reasonable, but um, yeah, it's going to be great to fly fast between bases and stuff until we get the railway set up. So only one more win minute. Um, also, let's get ready for the adventure. I, I, we might have to go and repair this first. But we do have some stuff here. Like we got crystal, we got silk, we got some hide. Maybe just not enough. I'll see what we still have at the other base. If we can still repair... Momo, I need to... 
rescue you from my trash. There we go. It's almost there. So exciting. Becoming a parent for the first time. Or again, I should say, Momo is already here. Well, I guess I didn't raise you. Befriended you in the wild. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Um, turn out these fires. Turn out all these fires, just in case. It's got some funky colors. Can you not move? Maybe he can't. Come on, you baby. Okay, come this way first. There we go. Get into this square so I can actually see you. Oh, look at him. He's actually got amazing colors. Oh, this was meant to be. Oh my lord, look at him. He's perfect. I will never doubt you again. I do kind of need some meat though. Oh, jeez, I didn't think about this. Yeah, it looks like an ice wyvern, but it's a poison one. It's beautiful. Okay, um... Hello, sir. Good sir. Good friend. You have some meat. Now you don't have any meat. I'll bring you meat again. <laughs> yeah. He, his parents might, uh, might need to tell him something, because... Okay, we're overheating. Not anymore. Good. Okay. So let's see. His health is going up. Which is good. In about seven and a half minutes he wants care for the first time. Probably not going to be able to give it. But that's fine. That is totally fine. Okay. Whew. This was... This was all very exciting and stressful, getting a baby. Okay, we put some stuff in here that we don't need, need, do not need to bring. Maybe we do need to bring that, actually. Definitely do not need the campfires now. What I do need is my explosives. Where are they? Okay. I guess in the meantime, we're gonna look for the other uh, guy that we might want to try and get. That is the little Fessel of Suchus. Um, if we can find some. I think there's one over here, but it's already hidden in the sand, so we can't check its level. But maybe that's alright. So, how does C4 work? Do I just drop it? Because I can't have it on my hotbar for some reason. There's a lot of annoying stuff around here though. It's not the best, best spot. Hello there. Oh yeah, maybe I should actually go and repair my armor because otherwise I'll probably die. Thanks for subscribing! Yeah, let's go repair that. That's actually wise. Thanks for reminding me. Because I would be reckless and just go and then be mid-taming and die of a heat stroke. Okay. Um, uh, the baby should be fine. Right? 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 
<laughs> oh god. If I see a message pop up, baby poison wyvern died. I'm gonna be destroyed. Especially with this color. Actually really fun hatching these weapons because you definitely really know what you're gonna get, right? Because you don't really know what the parents is. So it's always a surprise to see what color comes out. And especially also because of the the color mod that we have that you know enables so many more colors. There's so many options. I'm still really sad about, um, I don't know if, if you were here last, uh, last night when we did the build stream. During my build stream, my Morelotops Juicy with the amazing colors ran into our spikes and died because we were getting attacked. And um, that was annoying because she had amazing colors as well. And she was a really high level. Yeah, colors are really fun. It's almost like when I go out and tame something, I usually both look for the level, but also just as much the colors. Yeah, it looks so good. I'm really sad because we didn't really get to use it much because it has like the ability for crops and stuff. It did help me a little bit because I, I placed down a lot of uh, species X uh, or I was planting before. And I, th I think no, I think by the time we got the species X, it was gone because that's what I did afterwards. To aven avenge her death, we now have the Species X set up all around the base. It will never happen again. Okay. Still really useful to live right under the obelisk because it's so easy to get here now. Find this place exactly. Okay, let's see how many things we have. The, the base has been killing. Well, my horse is still alive. That's good. There we go. Just quick landing. Uh, let's take the gear with me. And let's repair these. Oh, I can't. Why not? We do not have crystal. So we meet again. My nemesis crystal, but now I can fly so I can easily get it. Okay, well. It's certainly worth it to not die in the desert all right let's get back down to our house and um repair the lost stuff Maybe we go um, and kill some stuff with like a raptor and get some meat for the dragon. That might be wise as well. Cook up some food for myself while we're at it. That's actually uh, so smart. Because I'm always out of food. Okay, so we throw this in and we repair. The last bits. We can finally not be running around naked anymore. That's also nice for a change. Um, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I think that's that's uh, Momo the fourth. Um, I just have him just just because I really like Momos, not because anything bad ever happens to them. Uh, so I guess the raptor might already be at the new spot. I, I didn't realize that all the cryos were already there, but that's good, actually. That means that I could have taken them out as well when I was collecting the stuff, but that's fine. 
So we'll go back to the desert base. Uh, check on the, the, the wyvern. Maybe get some meat so that it has enough food. And then we go out. Oh, it's a heat wave again. Shouldn't be out flying right now. It's too hot. It's way too hot. This pink one is perfect for my tribe mate. Ooh, there's a whole family down there. I mean, yeah, the weather system is is cool and a very cool feature, but it does feel like it's it's a little bit too uh, frequent. The storms, like it feels like you're going from one weather event to the next one instead of sometimes just having the normal weather be there and i get the map is uh, supposed to be like a little bit more challenging but this is uh it's a lot yeah does the sky always have this orange hue to it? What even is blue, you know? Is the ocean real? Remember the ocean from the island? We shouldn't have said that we were tired of the island. Alright, we're not quite gonna get there. The First stamina, so we're gonna have to land. Also, they actually announced the, the, the date for the center. Now, of course, we'll take it with a grain of salt. We'll see it when we see it. But that is exciting, knowing that we'll probably get a map in two months again. Of course, they had to drop it right when I'm on a holiday, but that's fine. All right, we're back. We're hot as well. It's 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 definitely hot. Wyvern is still alive. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not gonna cancel my holiday quite yet. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's sad missing it because the launch for Scorch has been so fun. He wants to go on a walk. <gasps> we can actually imprint him. He just wants to run around with me. This is great news. There we go. Yeah, usually they ask milk, I think. That's what the last one did. You don't look too good, buddy. But I'm gonna get you some more meat. Just gonna check if my raptor is here. Um, Hunter, there we go. Let's get some meat for my little friend here. I'll uh, feel a lot better knowing that he's, he's alright quite heavy already which is weird guess it might be all this stuff what is so heavy on me we'll just give him a bunch of weight yeah, Hunter is still alive, mate. He's still he's still rocking. Still rocking and rolling. It's so hot. Okay.
Yeah, he's definitely earned his name. It's not often when uh, one of... I think this is pretty much my first team that I had and actually did some adventures with. It's not often where that you get a team like this that actually makes it for this long. Usually the early teams, you know, they bite the, they bite the dust quite quickly. I kind of want to get that drop uh, or the note with, with Hunter. Get some of that sweet XP. Is it with it? I suspect she only does so out of amusement. She always says something like, Why do you spend so much time on these scribbles that no one will read? I never have a good retort. It's true, no one may ever read my dossiers, as I have no way to reproduce or distribute them as long as I'm trapped on one of these space stations. When I started them, okay, I if I hold this, I can throw it out of my love for nature and its creatures. Now, I guess they're just part of my identity. Writing them helps remind me of who I am. Oh, there's a fossil suit just right here. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I will never read them, but I'll gladly listen to them. And watch the show. Eh. No, he's flying away. There's not a lot of easy things to kill here. We have a little bit, but we definitely can use some more. Always stealing my spy glasses. Oh, uh, well, we got a Rex in there. Uh, definitely not something I want to face. I can't kill that. It's got a baby. Damn, they're having a big old fight up here. There we go. Now we got a bunch of meat. Let's get some stamina and um, let's get back to the base. Yeah, I really like the thorny dragons as well. They look really cool. I still need to get one. Need to get on with taming all of the dinos that we didn't have. Experience some new stuff. Stop stealing my spyglasses! There we go. All right, let's head back to the wyvern. Let's give him the meat. Oh, well, I we'll have another terror bird to kill. 130 as well. Jeez, mate. It's going to steal my spy glasses again. I'm 35 as well, jeez. Where did he go? Well, got a little bit of extra meat, I suppose. Oh, we got another Rex. I don't think we can face that on Hunter. That might be one too many for us. All right, let's give this uh, meat to our dragon. Let's see if he can tame a vessel. <laughs> I still don't know if it's a good plan, but it's fun to try, right? 
Yeah, I guess it's my fault for putting it on the uh, last slot. I guess that's what they usually steal, right? But it's just so that I really easily can get to it. Yeah, the only thing about the layout of this town is that you don't really have a straight way to get into Main Street. Like, it's a little bit messy. Okay, well, there we go. Let's take the meat. Actually, probably I should take everything, because I'm going to cryo hunter, most likely. So yeah, the health is still going up, which is great. We're 15% in. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually fly on the Wyvern today, which will be a challenge because then I have to at least keep it alive for the next video or next stream. Which of course is always the plan, but you never know what happens in Ark. Okay, well. Let's put it down here again we'll bring uh just one cryo should be enough actually um i feel like going with my flyers probably the smartest thing oh actually no i need to cook some meat for myself because i have no food and otherwise i will run into problems again and again let's be smart and not impatient. There we go. So we'll wait a little bit for the uh, the meat to be cooked. You look amazing. You stay being you. You know what we'll do? I'll go inside quickly because it's it's also hot again, of course. Why wouldn't it be hot? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm in the desert right now, really. On the edges. Oh, it's actually really, really hot. Even inside, I'm not really feeling that much better. Why is that? Do I need to be lower here? Yeah, here it's better. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly grab something to drink and I'll be right back. So, yeah, enjoy a little break right here Let's see if we have some food now. Should be some food ready. It's probably enough for now. 
because we're not going too far we're just going into the desert okay you be you be a good boy you stay here and we go on this adventure together it's still bloody hot but if we have to wait for the weather we're gonna be waiting a long long time okay so this one doesn't seem that smart to go for because there's so much annoying crap around that's just gonna go instantly for me if i try to land and get on the thing i th i i reckon we can try and see what happens if i land because it is kind of nice and close Okay. Did I did I place it over here? Why is it not doing anything? Where did my... I lost one, that's for sure. Oh, 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 it came out of his hidey hole. <laughs> we came too close. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, maybe testing C4 before doing this would be smart. At least now we can check the level. Oh, it's a level 15. No, we, we don't want that one. Yeah, but I did. I don't have grenades yet. I just found the C4, but they are not really useful for this, I guess. I just found this in a drop. Uh, no, I do not have a ghillie. And I don't know if I've got the stuff to make it. Yeah, I guess the C4 is not really that useful. Grenade. Yeah, I don't think I've got the stuff for that. I don't know. No, with the grenade, you probably don't need it. C4, maybe. Might be easier. Okay. There's another Rex over there. Well, to be fair, I'm kind, kind of happy that we didn't go that one. Because level 15, I don't know if that would have been worth all the trouble. Okay. Right then. Now that I have found a shady spot where I can Ooh. enjoy a brief respite from this desert's dreadful Rockwell. Heat, it's high time that I set some goals for this expedition. If I wander about aimlessly, then I'm sure to meet the same fate as the poor Joe. First, I shall find a local tribe, if for no other reason than to obtain a proper mount and supplies. Second, I simply must learn more. Oh, strange there's one line the walls of the sanctuary even with a cursory study i could tell that it possesses wondrous properties but where can i find more of it all right mr rockwell um let's give this one go no actually you stay here because otherwise you're gonna gonna blow you up
I don't know if that's close enough. Well, yeah, you need to wait. <gasps> we did it. We actually, we actually did manage to. What? You're supposed to crash into things. Not just turn around and wake up. That's not fair. And why are you not following me? Oh, did I not whistle you right? <laughs> well. Good news, the explosion worked. Bad news, uh, it instantly got out of the sand. What level were you? Level 40. That would have been alright for the first one. Well, that was all the explosives if I, that I have right now, so... I guess we'll better prepare for it next time. A 150! Oh my lord! A 150 would be really good to get. Okay, well, I guess I'll make some grenades for next time. That might be a good adventure to go on. A 150 would be really cool. We can see what kind of stuff we have. The problem is that we'll, we have a little bit over at this base and a little bit over at the other base, so it's kind of the question if we have enough. Wyvern is still growing. And still alive. Both equally exciting. Almost 25. And health is still going up. That's good. He's not eating, but that's fine. As long as he's not dying, I'm quite happy. Um, so, let's see. Grenade is going to be... I think we'll have that. And probably just not at like one place. I don't think we've made gunpowder and stuff like that. For some reason it won't let me do it at all. So. We can have a quick check at the other base. Dehydrated. Might be the smartest thing to do. Um, go back to Green Orb. See what we have there. Because if we can make some grenades and we can go for the 150, I feel like we should. Just because it's a, a 150. Like, <laughs> that's insanely lucky if we manage to get that one. And that would be some good good backup and actually it was quite close to where we have this base so that's quite cool as well damn we got some good levels around some dangerous stuff around Fifty grenade, jeez. That's gonna be a lot of stuff. Hey, look at that and horse.
dismounted a lot of times. Oh, okay. Then it might take a while, yeah. That's more more uh, challenging than I thought. I knew you had to hit rocks. I guess you just need to hit the breakable rocks, not the wall. Um, but if you get dismounted a lot, yeah, then it's it's taking a while because it's just the knocking out. We'll see how much stuff we have. If it's like anywhere near reasonable to to make it right now, and not spend like another hour doing it that might not be very exciting although getting the 150 would be really cool if only just take take this green up to the island i'll have plenty of stuff then oh god so close yet so far Well, we're still being defended well. There's a lot of <laughs> dead dinos around, but it's a lot better than the spikes. Okay, let's see. I feel like the pullet just doesn't seem to work at all right now. Yeah, it won't let me change the number either. Okay, so we need a bunch of charcoal. No charcoal. That's just one. That's not going to do me much good. Didn't I have charcoal? I put it back in the storage bar, probably, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a little charcoal in here. It's not much, but it's it's something. Oh, there's a little bit more here. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to be lucky if I can make one. Because probably... Oh, jeez, the metal is all gone here too, right? Yeah. It's not going to be enough. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think I have enough stuff to go do the uh, fossil shooters because I, I I just don't have the things right now here. You have quite some levels just by standing here and the thing is getting killed around you, I guess. Look at you being happy. I was debating at first driving this over to the desert, but I don't think the desert is secure enough to leave him there. And I would rather not lose my little house. Okay, so I, I guess um, we'll do we'll do the big uh, the big desert guy some other time when I have time to prepare all the gunpowder. I would kind of like to see. Or a little wyvern grow up, but um, he's like 25%, so that's going to take much longer still. Yeah, resources, especially in my case, because um, I, I, sp I split my time between just, you know, having some fun surviving and 
and, and exploring the map, doing all the, the, the survival things that you need to do in ARK to progress. And then I also spend a bunch of time building, of course. So that means sometimes that when I get to the survival, I don't really have all the, the resources or the preparation maybe that I would like. But um, hey, it is what it is, you know, can't can't help it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's going to be worth waiting on stream like or keeping on streaming until um or baby is fully grown because i feel like that might take another half an hour or even an hour i'm not quite sure how quickly or maturity settings will make it grow up but i feel like it could be a while so unless we do yeah. some more stuff hello there welcome in um yeah but we need to figure out what we could do because just going to collect resources will be pretty boring, I think. Oh, uh, what about the rock golem is this? Just chilling. Enjoying his life over there. A nice big blue guy here. You look really cool. And I'm gonna need some stamina. I mean, we could always look for another Moralitops because I feel like getting a good Moralitops out here to the desert might be really good because we can use it to drink. Um, I mean, we have the water tower, which has filled up a little bit uh, because of rain. But uh, it doesn't seem very feasible to rely on rain in the desert. Oh, look at my boy. How far have you grown? 30%. And it's definitely been a while since we got him. So yeah, there's no way that I keep streaming. Because usually I stream for like two, two and a half hours maybe. And um, that means like half an hour more. Maybe a little bit more. But then that thing is still not going to be fully grown. I know he doesn't eat meat yet. But he shouldn't, he should, he's probably not going to die until he grows up. And then he has a lot of meat to make sure that he uh, heals up a little bit more. So what we could do is... He is very bloody, but that's just because he's growing up and he's imprinted. His health is actually still going up. So what I'll think I'll do is I'll think we'll grab Hunter again. And we'll try to get a nice Morella tops. We actually apparently already have one. But um get some nice colors. Or maybe a thorny dragon actually, but then I need my arrows and I forgot where I put them. Do you have them? You do. Thank you, Momo. Um, yeah, then I just should be good to go, I think. The vulture killing machine is so good. Okay, well, in that case, let's go on a little adventure with Hunter. Um, let's make sure you follow me. And we'll try and tame something. Maybe a thorny dragon, maybe a Moralitops. If we find a good level with some nice colors, we'll get one of those. Or maybe something else, because it's arc. 
Usually once we go looking for something, you never find it and we'll find something completely different. So we'll see. There's also um, Vessel of Sutures over there. So probably want to stay out of the way of that. I don't think I'm quite up for that task. Hello there. Hello there. Thanks for subscribing. Um... It's good to be back on the ground, honestly. As much as flying is fun, it does make the game a whole lot easier. So sometimes it's fun to just have the little ground adventures and explore the world this way. I maybe should have brought a couple of extra um, cryopods so that in case if I find like high level babies, I could take them with me. Now I only have one, so whatever I tame, I bring back, so I can't really take more than one thing. Well, it's another good looking day out on the scorched earth. Good to be out of the desert as well. The dunes are very cool, but some greenery is quite nice. Some duties swimming. Maybe let's cross here. See if we can find anyone, because it's uh, it's kind of quiet here. I guess when you go looking to tame something, there's just nothing anymore at all. It's an empty world. Ooh. It's not my usual blue vibe, but it's still... Ooh, it's also a very high level. Oh, also, I still haven't repaired my crossbow, I just noticed. Well, you only live once. Okay, let's get a little bit of distance and we'll turn around. Oh, he's quite quick as well. Well, Hunter is made for the hunt. Oh, well, I can't quite do that. I actually need to fully turn and get this thing going. Nope, my bow broke. God damn it. Wait, I've got my boomerang. We can do it this way. <laughs> We're gonna go full scorched earth. It also has babies, which would be very good because we'll have a little herd of morale tops i guess guess i can also just kill it but i don't know if they all have the same colors i kind of like his colors a lot oh well the deodon might give us some trouble even if we knock it it might just eat now
Let's see, is the Deodon still here? So annoying, I need to save these guys, but he's also fighting me. This has turned into a mess. There we go. Might still kill him with this, to be honest. Oh god, we got more Moralitops enjoying joining the fight now. <laughs> and we got my boomerang, please. Hello there, thanks for subscribing. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Probably killing the parent would have been uh, the much quicker call. Wait a moment. Are you Topo running? That's good news. Um, that's no hitting. No, my boomerang broke as well. Well, I guess we have no other way but to... Oh, jeez. The Pegos strike as well. Everything is going wrong. Do I have my, my spyglass back? I feel like... My spyglass is gone. All right, let's look for the Moralitops now. Um, so I can't knock it out. But I can wait for its babies to find it again. And then I'll just grab the baby. But I can't seem to be see the babies. I hope they didn't die by the Deodon. Okay, he's calmed down. What do I need to repair my boomerang? So maybe we can just repair it. some sand and fiber okay well at least we can repair the boomerang so i guess we can still try to knock him out so fast oh there's the baby yeah it's a slightly different color but it's still 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 all right but if i knock him out we might be able to get two high levels 
Oh, there's a bunch of bad stuff over there. Why am I so slow? Jeez, he's taking the long way. He's actually going closer to the base, so out of mind. The baby will take a while to catch up, though. died so we need to look for the baby but we're kind of being stalled over here A 130 saber tooth that's some high levels around here is that the uh, 130 saber tooth baby? Cause that could be. Ooh, it's even mutated. Um, I only have one cryopod, so let's see if we can still find the Maratops baby. Jeez. This is uh, this is some some hectic fighting over here. I don't think we're gonna find the Moratops baby anymore now. It's too much time has passed, so we might as well cryo this one because it's quite a high level and he might still be. Nope, that's not blowing him up. And maybe he even has a good mutation already. Like he is he's a high level than his. His parents, so could have a nice, nice mutation, maybe if we're lucky. Okay, yeah, I don't think the Moralitops baby is going to be around anymore. To be honest, I think we kind of lost him already by chasing the parents so long. Yeah, probably already gone. All right, so let's bring this um, this new little guy back then. And uh, see how the dragon's doing, the wyvern. Don't think he's going to be grown yet. Like, not fully grown, but at least uh, he'll be a little bit bigger again. There we go. Enjoy the greenery. Enjoy the view while it lasts. Soon it's all gonna be desert sands again. Should be good here. Oh, that Vassalusuchus is still here. Well, I don't have my spyglass anymore, so I can't check your level. A 
Ooh. This is a pretty nice blue color. Level 110. This reminds me a lot of Juicy, actually. Oh, I didn't see the second one. That's a 130 as well. No, I'm, I'm already too damaged for this. Oh, they might actually be quicker than me. I need to heal up first. Oh, I'm bringing a lot of heat with me now. That's not good. Oh god. Gonna have to fight. Oof, they fought each other. Close enough. Let's get you some food. Okay. Not that I'm gonna mangle in the fight. But just out of interest, why did the Moralitop's baby go? Right over here still. There we go. We got it. <laughs> we'll take it home. Works out in the end. Maybe. We'll still have to bring it home, of course. But other than this little guy over here. Oh my lord, scared crap out of me. Well, we're bringing home two babies. That's uh, that's not too bad. I guess let's bring it to the stable part. Because, um, yeah, it's not going to find its way to the town. You can eat some meat, let you heal up. He's being a big dum dum. There we go. Get some berries in you. That should grow you up. You can have the little saber tooth here as well. Give them all some food. So that they don't starve to death.
All right. Now you can all grow up in here. And hopefully I will remember to do the imprints. Ooh, he's still alive. But he's only halfway. So yeah, this is going to take a while. So hopefully next next survival stream or the next survival video will have him all grown up and we can actually fly around. But for now, he's still going to have to grow up. And I think for now, we're going to also pretty much call it a day because, um, well, we've definitely achieved what I wanted to achieve. And um, now we just need to make sure that we keep it alive for long enough. But um, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Thank you so much for once again joining me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And tomorrow, most likely I'll be live again around the same time. And then we'll be doing another Let's Build. Um, probably continuing the western town that we're making in the middle of the map as the center to all of our exploration all our bases on scorched earth so if you want to see that make sure to be around here around the same time if you're still looking for a community server to play on a free server we have a cluster the island and scorched earth up with a bunch of building mods and some some extra dinos to make it extra fun free to join you just need to join the discord in the description and you can play hop on lovely little community uh some events some build challenges stuff like that very fun so um yeah check it out if you want to and then hopefully i'll see you next time goodbye